Hello mga kamiks and welcome to the 14th episode of Kamiks Mo Kasi Small This is Kamiks Chicks For today's episode ng Kamiks, we will be talking about what we will be celebrating this Sunday Which is Pentecost Sunday It's one of the most important feasts because it concludes the Easter season And it celebrates the beginning of the church But before we proceed mga kamiks, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe And hit the bell button of our YouTube channel for youth information Alright <laughs> So, now let's begin The timing and origin of Pentecost so, Pentecost occurs 50 days after the resurrection of Christ and 10 days after His ascension. But because Easter doesn't have a fixed date, it, the date is movable, then the date of Pentecost is also movable, which is somehow between May 10 to June 13. The timing of this feast, mga kamigs, is also where we Catholics get the concept of Novena because as you can see in Acts chapter 1, the Blessed Mother with the Apostles prayed together continuously for 9 days after His ascension leading up to Pentecost. And traditionally, the church prays the Novena to the Holy Spirit before the Pentecost. The word Pentecost now comes, actually comes from the Greek word Pentecoste, meaning 50 yet. Actually, there is a parallel Jewish holiday called Shavuot, which falls 50 days after the Passover. Originally a harvest feast, Shavuot now commemorates the sealing of the Old Covenant on Mount Sinai when the Lord revealed the Torah to Moses. So every year, the Jewish people renew their acceptance of the gift of Torah on this feast. So what happens at Pentecost, mga kamis? So in the Christian tradition, Pentecost is actually the celebration of the person of the Holy Trinity coming upon the Apostles, the Blessed Virgin Mother, and to the first followers of Jesus Christ who were gathered together in the upper room. So this is what happened, mga kamis. A strong driving wind filled the entire room where they were gathered and tongues of fire rest on their head, allowing them to speak in different languages so that they could understand each other. It was such a strange phenomenon. That's why some people thought the Christians were drunk. But St. Peter, the first pope, said that it was caused by the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit, mga kamis, also gave the apostles the other gifts and fruits that is necessary to fulfill the Great Commission, which is to go out and preach the gospel to all nations. Okay, So it fulfills the New Testament promise from Christ, as what we can read in Luke chapter 24, verse 46 to 49, that the apostles will be clothed with power before they will be sent out to spread the gospel. Next, where can we find this Pentecost thingy in the Bible? So. The main event of Pentecost, mga kamis, meaning the strong winds and the tongues of fire, can be read in Acts chapter 2, verse 13. But events following next to it, like St. Peter's homily and the baptism of thousands, can be found through uh, verse 41. Every Pentecost Sunday, mga kamis, we also celebrate the birthday of the Church. It was right after Pentecost that St. Peter, the first pope, inspired by the Holy Spirit, preached his first homily to the Jews and non-believers, in which he opened the Old Testament, showing them how the prophet Joel prophesied the events and the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. He also told the people that the Jesus, that Jesus whom they crucified, is the Lord and was risen from the dead. And that cut them to the heart. When the people asked him what they should do, St. Peter exhorted them to repent from their sins and be baptized. According to the account in Acts, about 3,000 people were baptized following the sermon of St. Peter. For this reason, mga kamigs, Pentecost is considered the birthday of the Church, in which St. Peter the First Pope gave his first ever homily and converts thousands of new believers. The apostles and the believers, for the very first time, were united by a common language, a common zeal and purpose to go and preach the Gospel, the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Lastly, mga kamiks, let's talk about the vestment during Pentecost. So, typically, the priest will wear red vestment, symbolizing the burning fire of God's love and the tongues of fire that descended to the apostles, the Blessed Mother, and the believers at the upper room during Pentecost. However, mga kamiks, in some parts of the world, Pentecost is referred to as Wheat Sunday or White Sunday, referring to the white vestment that is being worn by priests in Britain and Ireland wherein white symbolizes the dove of the Holy Spirit and the typical vestment worn by the catechumens desiring to get baptized on that day. So that's it for today, mga kamis. I hope you're learning with me and hope you learned something from me today as we discuss about Pentecost Sunday. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button of our YouTube channel for youth information. Let's go to Mass this Sunday and celebrate the birthday of the church. This is Kamiksmo. Kasi small, this is Kamiksmo. Bye!